hello 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 this is the creative hippie and on my channel i like to talk about fragrance hygiene body care hair care and sometimes the lifestyle if you are interested please like comment and subscribe also share share the content i don't mind it today we will definitely be talking about my favorite body mist that i enjoy in the summer so i'll be talking about body mist and hair mist today this may be a long one so get your snacks okay so i would like to start off with victoria's secret fresh and clean chilled this is from the pink line the notes are icy skies, cozy mittens, and snowy days. And it says to get fresh with me. I would like to describe this as a, a chili floral. This is something that I would like, that I would spray on me like when it's like really hot outside. I think it works best for those times, you know, just spray it all over you and uh, it is definitely not an overwhelming scent but for those very super hot days this is a love for me um i'm not sure if you can find these in the stores unfortunately i got mine from like a, a secondhand store here in the city that sells a bunch of like uh victoria's secret and bathy body works that that are no longer in the store so if you don't have a store like that in your city you may find this online or on ebay or something like that so if you see anything from their fresh and clean line especially the chilled pick it up i really like this one next is something that you will be able to find online and in stores especially target and that is Pacifica's Dream Moon. This is a hair and body mist, and I love to spray this in my hair especially, but better on my body, it's way better there. But this has patchouli, bois de santal, and rose. This reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540, but with more sweeter candy-like and marshmallow notes. It's like really amped up. Oh my gosh. So I got this size specifically to refresh when I'm out. And this is very sweet. It's so pretty and nice. And it's all natural coming from Pacifica. So that's why I love this brand so much. I've been using Pacifica for years. They have so many scents that'll work for you. I love to get this whenever I'm in Target. Um, I got this in the three pack set. That's how I found this scent, and I like this the best out of all three of them. So this is another Baccarat Rouge type of dupe. It's not fully like Baccarat Rouge, but it's something similar. Something similar. Pacifica Dream Moon. Next up is a body spray fave of mine and it is well i have it in the body spray but listen absolutely love this ariana grande cloud and i love to layer this with almost everything almost everything in my collection but i love to layer to wear this by itself in the summer because the body spray i I can definitely wear as much as I want. I could spray as much as I want on my skin, on my clothes, will not be a problem to anybody. And I love this so much. If she had a hairspray in this scent, I would definitely get it. But this is a cult frame and I could definitely see why. But I wish that people knew more of this next scent, which is 
Moonlight by Ariana Grande. I see why people don't talk about this as much. I do see, but still, all in all, as a body spray, this works so well. I love this as a body spray. It has notes of, oh my gosh, plum. It's rich black currant. And it's marshmallow, has peony, sensual vanilla, and sandalwood, black amber. I was disappointed in the perfume form of this, right? And I got this from TJ Maxx. I was disappointed in the perfume form, but I love this body spray because I feel like it definitely lasts longer. And I don't feel as bad as having this because I could definitely top this off. I don't layer this with anything at all. It's to me, this smells like sweet dark berries covered in like soft vanilla marshmallows. This is so freaking pretty. Like I love to respray this on me though. Like this is my summer go-to. It's very nice. I do not think they sell the perfume anymore. I believe it's discontinued. So if you find a body spray, pick it up get it if you can i know for sure that they do not have this out as often since they have discontinued it you could probably find it online but yeah i think you could find this online i've seen it online before you can still get it moonlight next up is another celebrity fave and I got this before her announcement. Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday. Now, Pink Friday is what I was wearing mostly in the spring. Oh man, that's so pretty, it's bright too. I was mostly wearing it in the spring because I just got this this year. And I was just, you know, getting into it because I had got Onika last year and that's my fall favorite. But Pink Friday, I thought I would probably just wear this for the spring, but I found that I just well, can bring it right on with me into the summer. It's a floral fruity and its notes are carambola, which is a star fruit, blackberry, Italian mandarin, lotus, star jasmine caramel pear vanilla musk and woody notes now this is an intoxicating floral and it has playful fruity notes right it has it's a it's has a creamy vanilla background but it also has pink flower petals in it you could smell all of that along with the musk in the woods as well this is i want to get the perfume to go with this I, I do very bright not as fresh it's not too deep this is like a topper like you're going throughout the day if you don't want to wear too much wear this like i know a lot of people don't like to like wear too much perfume in the summer that's why i like to go for more of body sprays i'll still wear perfume but when it's like sticky i'll stick with the body sprays and i've been loving this so far so i'll continue to wear this pink friday and another one by her that I'm really loving as well is Menagesty. Menagesty, I have to say is probably a favorite of mine and definitely a favorite. This is also a floral, floral fruity and I noticed she does a lot of floral fruities. Um, this has notes of red berries and lemon, peach, frangipani, orchid and magnolia tonka bean vanilla and musk this is a soft and sunny wow a soft and sunny fresh fruity and sweet scent this is so bright this is 
good for the summer this is good for right now right right now if you have like i say listen get the body spray i feel like the body spray dang i love this body spray <laughs> i could barely talk right now this body spray is popping like i love this body spray spray so much it's like a fresh fruity that i've been looking for a long long time definitely for great for hot days daytime nighttime most of these are mostly daytime scents like it's like you know this one this one you could wear anytime definitely wear this at any time but um the rest of these i feel like i definitely wear them in the daytime but this i'd wear at night especially i wear this in the day and the nighttime i absolutely absolutely love this body spray like oh my goodness she did a great job on this one i really do like this Majesty. <laughs> you know what i feel like she's really good with perfumes i think she should release her own like if nikki if you ever hear this release your own perfume because you know i'm saying you're doing it for these companies do your own thing child this one smells really good oh man okay so we have to go to the next one and the next one is my only sas find from bath and body works this year and it is groovy watermelon now this was the only one that i seem to be super interested in wow because this is a fresh oh this is a fresh juicy like starburst smelling type of watermelon it it's nose is juicy pink watermelon sugared strawberry blossom and lime zest i don't smell any strawberry or lime zest in here i just smell watermelon watermelon sweet candy goodness this isn't even jolly rancher like it may be jolly rancher but nah this is starburst this is starburst in a bottle this smells so good i even got the lotion to go with this this smells amazingly good i like how they did this this is probably one of the best watermelon perfumes that i have smelled so far and i like to layer this with my other watermelon perfumes bath and body works did a very good job on this and it lasts it, it does it has good lasting power to be a body spray i have to say that a lot of these do not like um this lasts for me this um menagesty the cloud and the dream moon lasts but the others are not great with the lasting power. This has sold me. I absolutely love how this smells and how this lasts. This is going on the body and the clothes and you're gonna smell like a walking piece of candy all summer, like beautiful. I love this Bath and Body Works. Please keep this. Do not try to discontinue on or, or anything like that because I know how y'all get. Like, come on, keep this in the line. Make this an all year round type of scent. Groovy watermelon. And I'm a hippie, so you know, I had to get this. I'm groovy. <laughs> and the last body spray that I would like to talk about that I just used for my body is this one by Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. This is Silent Street. It's a floral woody musk fragrance and I have to say this is so beautiful. This is a gorgeous creation by Demi Glam. I really love this one. I had the perfume, but I gave it away and just kept this. I had, I got this in a set, but I love this body spray way more than just having a perfume. It is a, it has notes of just only two notes is white musk and floral notes. And this is described as, oh my gosh, 
Crosby Street at First Snow. It is a moment of total peace and purity in the middle of the chaos in New York City. Trail. It has the essence of pure white musk. And listen, this is peace in a bottle. This is peace in a bottle. This is a beautiful creation. I absolutely love wearing this to bed. I love wearing this to bed, but I can wear it at any time. It is gorgeous. It's so gorgeous to be a body spray. But this is expensive. I, like, I got it at a discount store, but I still spent like $10 on it. Like, yeah, it was $10. So it's, I got this for a good price, but it's, it's still like, it works kind of like the perfume. It got, it works like the perfume. I really like this. Like, I wish I could find this a, a more, but I barely could find this anymore. I can't think I could find it on, if you could find this on Amazon or fragrance net, get it. This is so well worth it. This is, I don't hear no one really talk about Derek Lamb's fragrances. I don't know why he does a very good job on them. Very good job. He's great with fragrances. And this is one of them that he has really put his foot in. I absolutely love this. Derek Lamb 10 Cross B Silent Street. Now we're gonna get into the fragrances that I strictly use in my hair. I can use them on my body, these next three, but I like using them in my hair the most. And I use them every other day because I do have curly hair, well, type four hair. And um, this is Mix Bar's Coconut Palm. It is a unisex floral fruity gourmand. And its notes are coconut, vanilla, woody notes, sandalwood, musk, salt, and seaweed. I've never had a seaweed fragrance before, but it's a first time for everything. I get this from Target. And to be honest, this is the only, the only, one that I like out of the entire line. It has moderate longevity and low sillage, and it's great to layer with other coconut fragrances. It is described as a beckoning of sunny days, delicious coconut and creamy vanilla with a pinch of salt. It is warm and spicy, and it smells like a sensual escape to paradise. Like it, it really does. It is sea salt, seaweed, wood, all of this grounded into sandalwood and musk. I like this. To cost the amount that it did, it doesn't smell cheap at all. It smells very luxe. I like this a lot. This is a good layering spray. It lasts for a good, good time. And I actually do like to layer this with my coconut fragrances, but I mostly like to layer with, with Ariana Grande's Cloud because it smells kind of similar to it. And this next fragrance, which is... Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian Crush. 39 now i know this is discontinued so if you can still find it online scoop it up but i do like to layer these two together and this is a coconut cream and toasted praline type of thing i love to layer both of these in my hair or i would wear this by itself and this to me smells like coconut cream pie this is delicious, like really de coconut deliciousness in the bottle. So good. So like, I wish that it wasn't discontinued because it's a great fragrance. It, it lasts, but not as long as this mix bar. And I guess it's because there are woody notes in the background and there aren't so much here, but it's still good. I really would have preferred that they kept this.
I'm sorry. I'm really sad that they haven't. I'm glad that I got a bottle because it was taking me a bit long to do that. Cheerios are 39. And speaking of Sol de Janeiro, another one that I love as a hair fragrance is Cheriosa 62. I like this. This is really good. Very summertime fun. And it has that pistachio. This, this is actually what got me started in wanting to dive into pistachio fragrances more. This is a pistachio and salted caramel type of thing. And I like this mostly in my hair. I wear this on my body, but it lasts better on my hair and my clothes. Very good stuff. This, I didn't get this when this was like, you know, trending or anything, but I decided to get it last year. And I decided to layer it with, not with its cream. I'm not too much of a fan of the cream, but I do like Trader Joe's um cream and i don't even have it with me but i layer it with that a lot so i would spray this in my hair or my body and then layer the, the trader joe's cream on my skin and it's a, it's a bit more moisturizing like that it's very good beachy good kind of smells like suntan lotion it's very tropical and tasty too like it's it's just it's it smells like a vacation you could taste the coconut in it as well uh, brazilian crush cheriosa 62 man i'll be stumbling on this title oh man all right now these two fragrances i only like to layer and wear in my hair strictly for my hair and it is this one by Mason Francis Kirk de John. This is a la rose. I am so happy that I got this as a rose fragrance because this is beautiful. This is a beautiful floral fragrance. It's notes are Calibrian Bergamot, California Orange. It's powdery floral notes of Bulgarian Rose, Grasse Rose. Violet and Magnolia with the base of musk and cedar. Y'all, this is rose heaven. This is strictly a rose. So if you are not a rose fan, you won't like this. But I feel like this is a very feminine fragrance. A very feminine fragrance. Is that realistic, natural rose scent, you know, and it's perfect for the daytime, but I wear this anytime. This is very luxurious and, and refined. And this was inspired by Marie Antoinette's love of roses. And it was also inspired by a portrait that she's in where she's holding a rose and it's painted by Louise Elizabeth Bijet Le Brun. This smells like royalty. This smells like a queen would wear this. This is a beautiful, luxurious, like, smells like um, Queen Charlotte would wear this or something like that, you know? Like, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I love Mason Francis Kirk Dijon's um, fragrances. That's a tongue twister, y'all. He does very well with his fragrances, and this is one of them. I really like them, and I love the rose notes. I love it so much. I've been loving it over the years, and I cannot wait to make a video about nothing but rose fragrances. This is gorgeous. Gorgeousness in a bottle. MFK's A La Rose. The Hair Miss. And last but not least is my all-time favorite, Ooh. Delina now y'all already know how Delina gets down this is her hair mist with the notes of lychee, rhubarb nutmeg, turkish rose peony, musk, petalia vanilla, cashmere, cedar incense and Haitian vetiver this is the rich rose the gorgeous beautiful rose 
and I love this in my hair because it lasts throughout the entire day this lasts all day in my hair like till the next day I don't wear this on my body at all like it's it's not going there I love this in my hair and I get so many compliments every time I wear this it's moisturizing too this one is moisturizing as well that's why i forgot to mention these are some moisturizing hair mists they're expensive but listen pick them up they are luxe and it gets you started into what the fragrance will actually be like definitely get this this is still available on their website i will link it into my description box pick it up if you love delina if you love what delina gives you even if you want to layer this with delina exclusive which is going to be another one that i'm going to be sampling get this y'all this is so gorgeous delina the hair mist now that is it y'all that's it um Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for viewing. And thanks for everything. Thanks for all your support. And I want y'all to remember, don't let anyone steal your joy because they're feeling a way about themselves. People will try to do that. It is hard out here. And you have to remember, you are the author of your own story. So make sure your tale is a good one. All right, that's what I'm going to leave y'all with. Thank y'all again. Bye. <laughs>